Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can create an ISO file here on your Mac. And it's actually two steps that we have to do. First, we have to open the disk utility app. And in this disk utility app, what we basically will do, we will create a CDR file. And then with the terminal, we can convert this CDR file into an ISO file. So here I have Warcraft 2 in this folder. And I would love to create an ISO and disk image file from that folder so I can load this into my virtual machine. So I open the disk utility. And if you open the disk utility just by here search and you can type in disk utility, that's opening the disk utility app. And then here on the top, you can come in here to file, new image. And then instead of blank image, we can say image from folder. Now I can go into my folder that I need. Here in my case, that's my emulation games, those games. And then here, War 2, that's the Warcraft 2 folder that I want. So now I say choose. And then in this window, what we will do is here on the image format, we will say DVD and CD. Unfortunately, we can't create an ISO file just inside here. That would be perfect, but we can do this in the second step. So now we have to give it, give it a name. So in that case, Warcraft 2. So we say save. Okay, now this is done. We can close this one. And if you look here, we have now Warcraft 2 CDR. This is our disk image file. We will take this one and drag it to our desktop. And now we open the terminal. Terminal. So, and inside of the terminal, what we will do is first we will navigate to the desktop. This is what you have to type in to go to the desktop. So now I'm in the desktop. So what we need is this feature here. And so what we have to change now, we have to give it the name that this name here has. So I renamed this one to Warcraft 2. So this is the ISO file and the name of that one is Warcraft 2. So I can take this one, copy this, go into my terminal because we are now here on the desktop and on the desktop is my CDR file. Make sure it's on the, CD on the desktop and then I can paste this return and now it created my ISO file and I saw on the internet some people were saying yeah just click on this and change this one to ISO don't do that it is not the same some virtual machines will not read this one but that is a proper ISO that the machine can actually read so now you have your ISO file and you can share it to whatever device you want and this is how you can create an ISO file just with the Mac. I put this one down here into the description. These are the two steps that you have to do to create an ISO file on your Mac. I hope you learned something. I'm Daniel and this channel is all about DaVinci Resolve, Mac, iPad and yeah, everything to make your life just easier. I hope you learned something. Hit like, subscribe, ding a ding the bam bang gong. We'll see us in the next video. Bye.